So like I was saying earlier, uh, well, my dad was on the job. So I grew up with a crystal scanner, always going off. And even though my father wasn't the type of guy who would come home and tell stories, I'd be like, oh, you had any fires? Yeah, we had a fire, right, kind of. And occasionally, you know, go to pick up his check, we'll go to the firehouse, hang out. Um, so I guess you would say I was somewhat sparky as a kid. Uh, I feel lucky that when I came on that, in my opinion, I wrote, I work with guys and they, the guys who taught me rode the horse. I, I, don't know, I don't know how else to say it, but like these guys, they went to more fires than I could ever hope to go to, right? And it took a, a little bit. In the beginning, the I was a young punk, right? It took probably a year to really start asking questions, you know. Um, I worked with a guy. Uh, he was on two ships that was sunk in the Pacific. I never got the balls to ask him about it, and he never volunteered. And uh, he was a surly old man, but a great fireman. And I would sit there going... This guy was a fireman 20 years before I was born. He fought in the Pacific. Um, so I feel fortunate that guys like Mike, uh, Kenny, older gentlemen than them, that they experienced the department in a, in a time and an era, uh, socially and everything, that I don't know if we'd, anyone would ever experience it again. And, you know, as a kid, I grew up in JP to about 13 Literally between 42 and 30 and 28 and 10 was a lot of fires, but still nothing compared to other sections, but there were so many fires. Uh, it was nothing to wake up in the morning to that smell. I can't describe it. I feel like uh, Duval in Apocalypse Now, you would have that distinctive wood-burning smell or the sound of those raggedy fire trucks leaving. And, uh, I, don't, I don't know, you know, uh, was it the Hans or the ones before him? You could hear him five miles before you saw him. But so I feel blessed that I was able to learn from them. Um, it just took a while for me to get out of my own shell to be able to ask questions. Cause, and then I probably became annoying. Whereas like every fire, I was like, "Hey, why'd you do that? Hey, why'd you do that?" And you know, so hey, shut up, will you? But these guys experienced something that I can't even. Um, Fathom, I, and right. when I try to talk to the younger kids, this new generation, and I, and I, they, I don't even think they can even because it was before their time. Like they just think they're these crazy old old guy stories. Um, but I'm a firm believer in tradition, uh, especially on the fire department. I love the history. Former commissioner Christian, he was big on history. He probably still is. Um, and it's probably funny, I, I, corny to say, but I probably spend an hour a day reading old, old orders and stuff. And if somebody posts a picture and says a name, I'll spend a little while looking them up on the records that I do have. But yeah, I feel blessed that I came on with guys. Like I said, they forgot more about fire than I'll ever know. Then teenage years come and you discover girls and it kind of goes to the wayside. But deep down, I always knew it's still what I wanted to do. Late 80s, I took the test, and I got on. Um, and it's funny because um, my interview was with my dad's old captain, and he asked me where I wanted to go, and I said, hey, I want to go to Attila, because at this time there was only, I believe, four Attilas left. And he was like, ah, no, you don't. Don't worry about it. I'll send you somewhere good. So that's how uh, my career started, and I originally started on Oliver Street, which was torn down later that same year. In fact, I was on group one with um, Chief Christian, if you talk to him. So in the beginning, you're just kind of, you know, when you grow up around it, you, you're exposed to some aspects, but not the whole thing. Like, you, you know, you just hear uh, brotherhood, fires. Um, so you think that's all that firefighters do. And then when you get in there, you realize that it's much more to it. So as time went on, uh, I had a few officers that encouraged me. Um, so, hey, 
should probably start hitting the books or, or looking into doing what you're going to do. And when you're, when you're new, you, you're like, I'd like to aspire one day, but you don't know when it's okay. And the way our rules are, they're set up now where you almost can take it with three years on the job. Um, you probably shouldn't, but that's the rules. And, and so uh, I said, ah, I'll, I'll take a stab at lieutenant. <laughs>